Hello, welcome to episode six of the Thrive Themes tutorial for beginners where we are using Thrive Themes to build out your website. It's really, really useful. Up until this point, we have um, discussed the benefits, installed it, we've started creating a page. Now, in this video, we're gonna talk about creating a blog post. So when it comes to blog posts, it's very, very important to, um, you, you wanna start creating content. You want to start creating content that's going to attract people because that's that's going to allow people to find you online. So if you were to search for different uh, topics, different keywords, different articles come up. So you want to target that. You want to target different keywords. So when it comes to blog posts, super straightforward. In your dashboard, you can use Thrive Ar Architect again. You want to go to all posts and we're going to... I'm going to show you how to build out and sort of how to build out a, a, a good looking blog post that's ultimately going to get people interested. Okay, so when somebody searches for a particular keyword, you you're you're the one that is going to want to show up. But when you do show up, you're going to want to really help somebody. Okay, so under the posts, um, you can then select new. Okay, so you're going to have lots and lots of different posts. We've now got 100, uh, 286, and under the, the different posts, you're gonna want to have um, different um, different keywords, what, whatever your post's all about. So, I don't know, uh, how to create a website, how to, um, how to cook healthily. I, I don't know what, what the keywords, depending on what your niche is all about, depending on what you're interested in, how to get started with building websites, how to uh, create your first uh, $100 online. This could be absolutely anything. Uh, Thrive Themes, Thrive Themes tutorial um, review and overview. Okay, so that is that could be the first post. Um, you can see here. I can then publish. I can then make. Uh, I can the visibility. I can change that to, to private. I can do a number of different things here. So let's say I wanted to put that to private. I can add that. Um, let's say I wanted to publish. Um, I don't know. Let's publish. I want to publish this later on. I don't want to do that now. Um, and then I can just update, okay? I can update this, fantastic. So this is now gonna be updated. Um, and then you can start building your post. So let me show you uh, the sort of layout of the post. So the in the blog settings, which I shared, shared with you in the dashboard of the Thrive Themes, you can see um, it's got the title, you can see I've got here, there's uh, some share, sharing, some social shares. I've got like an introduction, and then what I found is really, really useful. If you've got like, like what's somebody gonna learn? So straight away they open something up. They go, oh, how to build a brand? Fantastic. We a bit of an introduction, and then they'll learn this. Great. I'm interested. Scroll back down. Then there's the first video. Watch session one below. Great. I can watch the video. Here's listen to the session one, which is great. I can listen to it as well. Somebody's now thinking, fantastic, this is this is really, really good. And then they've got the, you can read as well. So you've got like uh, the, the content. I can share uh, different images with some, uh, some quotes. I can put different content boxes. I can do, there's a lot of things you can do at this point. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into creating a post. So let's launch Thrive Architect again. And um, let's, like I did with the page, um, show you really the different features that you can use. I highly recommend it. What I'll do in this one, because I've shared a little bit with the page building, is I'll share with you how to sort of build maybe a, an opt-in here, just like this sort of section, which is really, really useful. Um, so let's say you were wanting to build this out and Thrive Architect is just loading up again here. Um, this section here is really good. Follow, follow up to date with the case study. So I, ca I can put this button here where somebody can just join this and follow along. Where we're gonna get into the Thrive Leads in the next video. But for this point, what I'll do is I'll just share with you how to create this, this, this post in the first place. Um, 
again, straight, straight, really, really straightforward. We're using the sort of knowledge that we learned in, in creating a page. Now it's just the same thing, but it's now on a blog post. So this is the blog post, Thrive Thief tutorial, um, review and overview. You can see it's uncategorized right now because what I need to do is under the um, pages here, under the actual blog post, I can create categories. Okay, so if I scroll down here, I can see here that there is, um, I can see here that there's categories. I can add new category. So category is going to be Thrive Themes. Okay, I'm gonna add. So this is going to be under categories, under the Thrive Themes, which is great. Then I'm going to want to have, uh, once again, I'm gonna to want to have sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Make that bold, which is great. Then I'm gonna to want to have some social shares in here. Going down to social share, click that, which is great. In fact, I want it underneath and then delete that section. That's how it's so straight, straightforward. That's why I love how straightforward it is. I can make this bigger, I can make it smaller. Um, then I'm going to want to have another topic here so I can put uh, Thrive Themes is fantastic i can put whatever i want here let's say at that point there i wanted a a call to action okay a call to action let's put what well, i want i could put a contact form if i wanted to okay so there's a contact form if i wanted to that could link up to a different email provider different whatever you wanted i can put dividers i could put post grids there's a lot of things you can do I could put tables that's the beauty of this um, I could put a video here and I can link that to YouTube I can link it to Vimeo depending on what you need really um, what we're gonna do it, it's just for the purpose of this video is um, that's how you build the page that's how you would build out a, a blog post like this and a blog post that is then found on because it is a blog post it can be found on your blog okay really really powerful really powerful to do uh, get publishing content I I would publish content maybe every single day so you can see here it's come up on the blog here because I've not actually done anything with it it's right there you can see this is what we've been doing uh, publishing blog post blog post any of these you can click on they'll have different articles you can link to different sites you can link to different places but I'd love to know what you think um, I'd love to know um, how you're getting on with, with Thrive Themes. Get using it. There's going to be a link in the description below. And um, get into, if you wanted to, get into the free uh, brand uh, course where I share with you really how to create your brand. Um, look, you can see here there's sort of different quotes, different content boxes, which is really, really useful. Then there's like a, a free course, a bit of a, an opt-in there as well, which is which is great. So... Um, I'd love to know what you think. Join the, the in the link in the description below. There's going to be a free course. This is Kev here from LifeSuccessEngineer.com. Just sharing with you everything that I've learned with Thrive Themes. Continuing on with the blog post. And I'll see you in the next episode. Keep taking massive action.